Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the McCart Blue Poly Gel Kit. This kit's been out for a little while, but I really wanted to try it, and some of you guys requested that I try it out and give my thoughts on it. So I'm just gonna be unboxing this kit, and I also did receive the Purple Poly Gel Kit, so stay tuned for that review as well. But as always in this kit, you get your little 100-180 grit nail file and everything in this kit is themed blue which is super cute. And you also get a dual ended gel brush. The one side has the gel brush and the other side has the spatula to apply the poly gel onto your nails. And then you also do get an 8 milliliter base gel and a top gel. It's usually the same thing in every single kit, except with these color kits, they're themed um, depending on what color they are, which I really love. And here is what the brush on the bottle looks like. It's a really decent size for your nails. You also do get a 50 milliliter slip solution. This is actually a two-in-one nail surface cleanser and a slip solution and it's also tinted blue which is really really pretty and then you do also get four different color poly gels. I'll be swatching these in a little bit and right now I'm just taking the rest of the stuff out of the box. Um, it also comes with some dual forms. Um, there is 60 pieces in this little case here. It's like a little plastic case that says McCart on it. And a lot of people say these dual forms are pretty small, which I kind of agree because I held one up to my thumb and it did seem pretty small. And this was the biggest one. So just keep that in mind if you did decide to use these. I don't ever use these. I never really um, even tried them before. Um, I like to use my tips as you guys know, but I just wanted to show you guys in case you are interested in those. And here are the four colors. They're numbered 841 to 844 and they're little 15 milliliter poly gel tubes and they do seem pretty small but if you manage the product right you could get quite a few sets out of these um, this kit is more meant for you to do your own nails kind of like a diy type thing um, so yeah they're pretty small but you can get quite a few sets if you manage the product right so here is what the tubes look like you have the number on the front and the ingredients on the back and they do come sealed which is really good so you know no one has tampered with the product and you also do get your little um, instruction manual and when you open it up it shows you what comes in the poly gel kit how to apply it remove it uh, frequently asked questions and then on the back you have some other recommended mccart products so moving on to the swatches i'm going to pour some of that slip solution into the cap and i'm going to start by swatching the clear color first which is 841 and one thing I could say about these poly gels is that they are a little sticky. Um, so I run into that issue a lot lately with some of McCart's poly gels. Um, you can soak them in warm water for 10 minutes to soften them up. It was really funny because <laughs> a couple of people actually commented on my last video saying that they sat on the poly gel and it warmed up and then one person said they put it between their armpits. I was like, really? But whatever works, I guess. Um, number 842 this one is a baby blue this is super cute and the good thing about these poly gels no matter how much slip solution you use um they don't have any bubbles in them or anything like that and they are really pigmented so that's a plus um it's just that they are a little sticky but if you do use more slip solution that also helps as well that's kind of what i was doing right here and the poly gel just goes right down the nail really easily and i will be carrying these for 60 seconds um, that's what's recommended in the instructions depending on your lamp is how long you would cure yours for 
This next color is 843 and this one is like a periwinkle blue. It's kind of like a purplish blue. This is super pretty and one of my um, favorites from the kit. I'll be using this one and the baby blue and the clear today in my tutorial. I'll also be showing you guys some filing because you guys were getting on me in my last video about how you wanted to see some filing. So don't worry, I got you. I will show a little bit of that in this video and I'll try to show that more often, but you know, nobody ever really commented um, before and said anything like that. So now that I know what you guys like to see, I have a better idea of what kind of content I can put out. You know, I want to put out stuff that you guys want to watch and stuff like that. So this last color was 844 and this is a royal blue, super pigmented and this one is pretty dark, but I really love this shade of blue as well. This is another um, one of my favorite shades of blue. So yeah, here are all the colors after curing them in my lamp for 60 seconds. None of them changed color, so that's really good. And if you guys are interested in this kit, I'll be sure to leave the links down below in the description box, as well as my discount code for 15% off, which I'll leave somewhere on the screen. All right, so moving on to the tutorial, I decided I wanted to do a Powerpuff Girl design like Bubbles since her outfit is blue and I thought it would be a really cute idea since the poly gel kit is blue. So right now I'm going in with the base gel from the kit on all of the nails. I did apply a dehydrator and primer and prep the nails off camera. I actually found these new like really super long stiletto tips that I cut into like a square shape. Um, this was my first time using them but um, they're really nice for getting that like a little bit wider of a shape like that square shape So once I get like the feel of them, I'll definitely show you guys um, how to do that um, Because I'm loving the shape like a lot lately. So yeah, um right now I'm gonna be doing an ombre on the pointer finger and I'm going in with that periwinkle color in 843 and I'm just applying it to the tip of the nail and I'm applying it thin because I'm applying glitter and I'm gonna have to encapsulate the nails and I don't want them to be like really bulky and stuff so basically I just squeeze out how much I need and like kind of like pat it into place but you're gonna want to blend the poly gel up where the natural nail and the tip meet and I will be flash curing with my McCart mini lamp um, just for like 20 seconds so that the gel doesn't move. And then I'm going to be um, going in with that baby blue color in 842. And I'm going to be blending that down into the periwinkle color. I just squeeze out a little bit. You really don't need a lot. Just a little bit. And I start by patting by the cuticle and then pat side to side. And then when I get to where the tip and the natural nail meat I start like blending it down into the periwinkle color and since this poly gel is a little sticky you're gonna have to use like a little bit of force and I do recommend using more slip solution unless you decide to soak the poly gel in warm water but I did use a lot of slip solution and it helped move the poly gel like a lot better and on this nail um, I did this and then I applied the glitter and then cured but um, when I move on to the next nail I'm gonna just be doing the periwinkle color and then um, the blue color and then adding the glitter and then just curing it um, I'm just doing like a little flash cure so the gel doesn't move but before I go to encapsulate I do um, cure in my big lamp to make sure that the nails are fully cured all the way through so next I'm going in with this glitter gel polish um, from Nay Jolie. This I got from Born Pretty. I'm not really sure if that's how you pronounce it, but um, I'm applying that to the tip and kind of like brushing it up over the tip into the blue a little bit to look like it's faded. 
and then i'm also going in with this um iridescent blue glitter that i got a while ago off of aliexpress but they're like little um circle pieces and it kind of reminded me of bubbles so that's why i decided to use them i'll be showing you what the little jar looks like in a minute this is the glitter right here i bought this in the winter actually but i ran out of um, time to do all the sets that i wanted to do winter is like one of my favorite times of year i love doing like so many sets last year i did a whole bunch of them but yeah i did run out of time but you can actually use this glitter all year round i used it on my last set too the purple one so after that i go in with these little four point stars from unique nail creations and you're going to want to make sure that you're placing the glitter into that gel so that when you cure it um, it cures in place and basically i'm just going to do the same thing on the middle finger and the pinky um, so I'll let you guys watch the middle finger and I'll be back um, when I get to the ring finger On the ring finger, I'm just going to be doing this whole nail in that baby blue color, number 842. I just wanted a solid base on this nail because I'll be painting bubbles on this nail and I didn't really want to do it on top of the glitter because then it would have been kind of like hard to see. So I just squeeze out how much I need already in the form and just pat it in place. I always start by the cuticle with poly gel. It makes everything go a lot smoother and I just pat side to side down the nail make sure you're getting the side walls covered and I do remove any excess poly gel at the bottom I do always add a little extra especially for long nails um, and I'll be doing like a little flash cure and then going in with a second layer because one layer wasn't thick enough
Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate all of the ombre nails with the clear, which is number 841. And I basically just apply it just like I did um, with the blue poly gel on the solid blue nail. I just squeeze out how much I need, start by the cuticle, and just pat side to side all the way down the nail. And the reason why I'm encapsulating these is because they do have glitter and I don't want to file through the glitter when I go to file shape and buff and the nails were thin there wasn't enough product on them so I'm using the clear to like build the apex on the nails and give the nails some more structure To file the nails on my practice hand, I just use a sanding band mainly because I don't want to damage my silicone hand 
and I just feel more comfortable using um, a sanding band. So I'm using a 180 sanding band and I do use my McCart drill and I'm using like a medium speed um, just to like debulk the nails right now. Um, the reason why I didn't show the other two nails is because like this was my first time actually filming filing on my practice hand and like it was such a hot mess I was like no no <laughs> we cannot show that so these two nails I mean you pretty much get the point after two nails I would hope um like these two nails they came out pretty good for me to show you guys but I'm working on it bear with me so yeah um I'm just basically debulking the nails going around the cuticle um filing out any like bumps or lumps that may be in the nail and as you can see the poly gel um files very easily poly gel is really soft so you really don't need to like use a lot of force it's not like acrylic where you have to like you know really file for a long time like it files down pretty fast so you want to be careful with that because if you file too much the nails can get really thin i do go underneath the nails as well to get any poly gel that might have gotten stuck under there and i do like um go on the sides to help shape the um, nails up a little bit and stuff like that um, and the way you want your nails to look you want to have that little hill which is the apex up by the cuticle and you want your nails to be thinner by the free edge but not too thin to where they're like credit card thin and you're also going to want your side walls to be thinner than the rest of the nails as well so i'll let you guys watch this part and i'll be back when we go in with the hand file To shape up the nails, I like to use the 100 grit side of the hand file. Um, I like my shape to be nice and crisp and I like to use like the sharper side to get that really nice shape. So I'm going in and like filing straight like a few times on each side until I feel satisfied with the way they look and I do go underneath the nail and to file the um, free edge I hold my file at an angle and you're going to want to make sure that you're holding it straight so that you know the tip of the nail is not crooked and I do go over the surface of the nail um, with the 180 grit side just to smooth out any you know bumps I might have missed with the drill and I do flip the hand over and then I like line the nails up and I file them that way I guess you would call that client view but this is a fake hand so but if it were your client you would want to flip their hand around and um, check the shape that way make sure that they're all lined up because sometimes when you're looking at it you know facing you you can't tell it looks like it's straight but when you flip the hand over it's actually crooked Now I'm just going to go ahead and go in with my buffer over the surface of all the nails and underneath the nails to get out any excess nail tip or whatever might be stuck under there. And this is just going to smooth out the nails um, without any scratches so that we can begin our nail art and top coat all of them. To finish the design, I'm going to go ahead and start painting bubbles on the ring finger and I'm no artist guys, I was just, you know, doing my best, but 
For the skin tone, I use Madame Glam Perfect White and I mix it with this um, little Vanilisa gel paint that I have. I believe the number was 1502, but it was a little too like peachy looking. I don't know, it was kind of weird. So I've mixed it with the white to make it a little lighter and make it like a more realistic um, skin tone. Um, the black I'm using to outline the drawing is my Elite 99 gel paint in the number 5604. Um, and the baby blue is called Baby Blue from Madame Glam. And those are basically the colors that I use for this. Um, I'm doing like a bunch of jump cuts um, so we're not sitting here all day because I did like cure in between because I'm a little clumsy. I tend to like bump into the nail and like you know get the polish all over the place so i cured as i go um i was erasing the little hair part um i didn't really like the way it looked and it really sucks when you try to erase the black because then it starts to smear all over the place but i finally got that off and i'm drawing the hair and then like the little bows um, with the blue and just outlining them in black and i'm just going to be outlining her hair and then filling it in with this yellow gel paint from Venalisa. I can't really remember the number right now, but I'll be sure to leave that in the description box. But yeah, basically to get the thin lines, you're gonna wanna use the tip of your brush. And the brushes that I'm using, I actually reviewed in my last video. They're like a little set of like fine tip brushes from Born Pretty. I'll leave the link in the description box if you guys are interested. I do have a discount code with them as well. It's Erica10 for 10% off. So yeah, I'll let you guys watch this. Um, I'm not an artist, but I tried my best. I think it came out, you know, okay. Um, they came out cute overall. So after I do this, I'm going to top coat all the nails and just apply some bling into the top gel. Um, on my fake hand, I don't really use bling gel because I save that for my nails. And I'm going to be using this little um, butterfly stickers from Born Pretty. I will link those in the description as well if you guys were interested. But yeah, that is about it for the set, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you like my design. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments, so make sure you leave me a comment. I love reading what you guys have to say. And let me know what you guys think about this McCart Blue Poly Gel Kit. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys in my next one.